Mastering Customer Advocacy Programs Customer advocacy fuels business success, but only if deliberately aligned. Where do the primary goals and objectives of our customer advocacy program stand in relation to our overall business strategy, and how do they specifically align to drive operational excellence and achieve desired business outcomes? To achieve operational excellence in a customer advocacy program, it is essential to establish a clear alignment between the program's primary goals and objectives and the overall business strategy. This alignment will enable the program to drive desired business outcomes and contribute to the organization's success. Firstly, the customer advocacy program's primary goals and objectives should be established in conjunction with the organization's overall business strategy. This means that the program's goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, and directly tied to the organization's key performance indicators KPIs. For instance, if one of the organization's KPIs is to increase revenue growth by 15% within the next 12 months, the customer advocacy program's goal could be to generate 20% of that growth through advocacy-driven sales referrals. Once the program's goals and objectives are established, it is crucial to define how they will drive operational excellence and achieve desired business outcomes. This can be achieved by developing key performance indicators KPIs, that measure the program's performance and progress towards its goals. For example, KPIs could include metrics such as Customer Satisfaction Ratings Net Promoter Score NPS, Customer Retention Rates Sales Referrals Generated from Advocacy Activities Revenue Growth Attributed to Advocacy-Driven Sales Return on Investment ROI, on advocacy program expenses. To ensure the program is operating with excellence, regular monitoring and analysis of these KPIs are necessary. This will provide insights into the program's performance, identify areas for improvement, and enable data-driven decision-making. For instance, if the program's KPIs indicate that customer satisfaction ratings are below target, the program can adjust its strategy to focus on improving customer engagement and experience. Furthermore, to drive operational excellence, it is essential to establish a customer-centric culture within the organization. This can be achieved by developing a customer advocacy charter that outlines the organization's commitment to customer centricity and defines the role of customer advocates within the organization. The charter should also establish clear guidelines and processes for customer engagement, feedback collection, and issue resolution. In addition, the organization should establish a dedicated customer advocacy team that is responsible for managing the program, engaging with customers, and collecting feedback. The team should be empowered to make decisions and take actions that are in the best interest of the customer, and should be held accountable for achieving the program's goals and objectives. To ensure seamless collaboration and communication across the organization, it is essential to establish clear roles and responsibilities, as well as define the workflows and processes that govern the program. This can be achieved by developing a RAJI Responsibility Assignment Matrix chart that outlines the roles and responsibilities of each team member, as well as the workflows and processes that govern the program. Moreover, to drive operational excellence, the organization should invest in technology and tools that enable the program to operate efficiently and effectively. For instance, customer advocacy software can be used to manage customer interactions, track feedback, and measure the program's performance. Data analytics tools can be used to analyze large data sets, identify trends and patterns, and provide insights that inform program decisions. Finally, to ensure the program is continuously improving and achieving operational excellence, it is essential to establish a culture of continuous learning and improvement. This can be achieved by conducting regular program assessments, gathering feedback from customers and stakeholders, and implementing changes and improvements that address identified gaps and areas for improvement. In conclusion, achieving operational excellence in a customer advocacy program requires a clear alignment between the program's primary goals and objectives and the overall business strategy. It also necessitates the establishment of a customer-centric culture, a dedicated customer advocacy team, clear roles and responsibilities, effective workflows and processes, investments in technology and tools, and a culture of continuous learning and improvement.
By following these principles, organizations can drive desired business outcomes, achieve operational excellence, and establish a world-class customer advocacy program.